Hey guys, it's Simon. This is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So tonight at Wrestle Kingdom 14, Chris Jericho will take on Hiroshi Tanahashi in one of the top matches of the night. If Tanahashi can defeat Chris Jericho, he will earn himself an All Elite Wrestling World Championship title shot. Now in storyline, this all stemmed from an interview Tanahashi did where he did state that he wanted a title shot if he beat Jericho. Jericho then did a video saying that he was given permission to put the title on the line from Tony Khan. But now we know a little more information on how this all actually came together and, well, if, if New Japan and AEW have any plans to work together. According to Dave Meltzer on the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer stated that both Jericho and Tanahashi felt that they needed something to raise the stakes in their match to, I guess you could say, make it more important. The two then thought maybe putting a title shot on the line would be that, but they needed permission to do so. Meltzer stated that both Chris Jericho and New Japan's Rocky Romero are the ones that spoke and convinced Tony Khan to allow this storyline slash angle to take place in New Japan. As far as what this could mean in AEW, Meltzer stated that Khan did not want this mentioned at all on television. This is why the video package that played on Dynamite Wednesday made it look like Jericho was there live, but not in the building, outside in the parking lot. If you have noticed, the title shot has been mentioned by New Japan on their website, on their social media, but AEW has not mentioned the title shot on their website or any of their social media channels. Again, that's a Tony Khan call. With some saying that the door is open now for AEW and New Japan to work together, that really doesn't mean much with this stipulation. Even, I'm going to say this even, if Tanahashi defeats Chris Jericho and earns the title shot, that still doesn't mean that the, the relationship, the working partnership is a go. They can do this match in Japan or maybe on the Jericho boat and never once mention it in AEW or the United States. Meltzer would also mention that there is still major bad blood between AEW and New Japan. New Japan President Harold May is one who is not open to talks with AEW at this time. It was also stated that on the AEW side, there is bad blood over legal threats New Japan had made. Now it's unclear what those actual legal threats are, but we do know that Tony Khan was talking with the Young Bucks, Cody, and Kenny Omega well before their contracts were ever up and they were legal free agents. Also, there have been rumors swirling that a meeting could be taking place in Japan with AEW and New Japan executives, but we've learned that that's not the case. Cody as of last night was actually in New York City and the Young Bucks are at home in Southern California actually scoping out the Toyota Arena for a future date for All Elite Wrestling. So with that, it's going to be interesting to see how this match does go down tonight. We don't even know, to be honest, if Jericho will bring the AEW World Championship to the ring with him. That's one of the big things. If he brings the title with him, okay, cool, stipulation. But if he doesn't bring the title with him, then that means, okay, all of this is just New Japan, AEW not wanting anything to do with it, and that's the route they're going. Wrestle Kingdom Night 2 does start here in less than three hours, so this should be very interesting to see how this all does go down. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.